Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Looking in the shop, we have two new cars. One of them being the Casper, which is a new truck. And here we are with the new truck. This thing has a really low score and it's pretty basic. It's just a slow truck. Driving it around, it seems to get around 150 miles per hour at max. Uh, if you go sh on perfect straights, it can get a little higher than that, but there isn't really that much space to do it. Looking at the other car, we have the Zoomer. This car is pretty similar to the PL, but it's just a little bit slower than it. With a score of 3,922 and a max speed of around 205 miles per hour. Moving on to the weekly quests, we have a brand new truck called the Casper TRC. And looking at the other quests, they seem to be basically the same as last week's. And here we are, we have finished every weekly challenge, so let's collect them. Casper TRC at stock gets a score of 312 and a horsepower of 1,142. When you max this out, it has a score of 480 and a horsepower of 1,636, with a max speed of around 245 miles per hour. This car definitely seems like it would be pretty good in the 400 range on races that have more straights. Other than that, this truck really doesn't seem to have any other uses. One thing about this truck, though, is if you have the spoiler on it, the trailers in the back just fully cover it up. If you go through the painful task of carrying a trailer all the way from the starting point to the end, you'll actually see that they doubled the amount of money you'll get from trailers in big trucks. Moving on from new cars, they actually added trailers around the map. 
which these are able to be picked up by any car and they aren't connected to a job so you don't have to go to a job to pick up a trailer now. This also means that you can take the small trailers on the big trucks. Now onto settings, they added a new, whole new area where you can change the time of day and the weather. They have actually completely changed the soccer field and they added in this new race. It's a really short race and it's really tiny but I actually like this. I think that this is a really unique idea. Another thing they added is free cam. So going into settings all the way down to the bottom you can see free cam and you can toggle this on or off. And heading over to where the old garage was, behind this they added a new truck docking area. And the last thing I'll add is the Yesco now has better turning radius at slower speeds. So if I go in a circle, the car drives slower than it did before. With this being added, it actually made this race in the soccer field easier. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.